that it's just so overwhelming uh, to do. Okay, well what I would tell any consultant that's stepping into the social media space is first of all, just go in and play. Don't worry about it. Just go in and play. Find something that feels like play that's fun to you. Now, if you're one of these techie folks, tech, techie phobic, tech, tech folks, just find something that feels a little simpler, easier, more comfortable to you and start there. So one of the things I would recommend would be posterous because um, you don't have to know any of the background stuff about designing a web page or any of the fancy language or any of that. You just have to be able to send an email. That is it. It is so incredibly simple. You don't even have to sign up for it initially to try it. Just send an email to a certain address that they give you on Posterous and off it goes and they send you a link back. You click on that link and you see your pretend, you know, actually real. Um, first blog post. I wanted to show you my very, very first blog entry using email on Posterous. Just start baby steps. You could start there. Here is the blog post that I selected to send out. It's by Michael Hyatt. Talks about Twitter being, which is a type of social media, being a huge waste of time. And what are you missing? The potential. What, what potential? It's not what you get out of it. It's about the opportunity it affords for you to give to others and to make an impact. I found a link, and it's right here, and I'll send it to this general address, post at posterous, and see what happens. And there it is, my very first blog post. Simple as could be. Yeah, you can start to create a website. Here's my second one. Okay, so now I'm starting to have a little fun. Uh, so, you know, did I tell you you can make these private and put a password on them? The body of the email, that's your blog post. So just put a couple paragraphs and make it something fun. With playing, now I want to start doing, uh, you know, something work-related, something mm -hmm. OD-related. So I would just take a particular thread that just seemed to pop out saying that really hits a nerve and it feels client oriented and I would go get some quick information and I said, oh, I don't want to lose this. So I quickly grabbed together a little mini blog post and it might be a blogger talking about something and directing people to a resource or it might be a news article in the Times or in the Wall Street Journal or whatever and I'd grab a snippet, I'd direct them back to the news, to the news article, but I'd have a, a nugget of it. And then I would grab um, a Creative Commons uh, photo from Flickr or from another source that I could use with permission with a citation, put them all together, and I would do that within half an hour. And I'm now on post 311 for Revlin Consulting. And you can see that I take different excerpts and I show, show what I'm quoting. I can put in video. I can put in a picture from a video. This is me at a, at a recent women's networking uh, conference. It's really pretty fun. Have a good time. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. The bottom, I have put, as I talk about in all social media, a profile. Well, then you have a website. <laughs> I also have other blogs like my Rebel on Education blog, my Rebel on Coaching blog, Innovation, and Small Businesses. How about one that looks a little different? Let's look at the Rebel on Education. Give it a minute. There it is. And these are all different. This is a different template. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, if I click on this one, something that happened recently, a valedictorian speech. see how this is laid out and again all my other blogs are here. Once you create your own blog post for the first time, second time, third time, you can noodle around in posters a little bit and find other people who are posting blogs and learn from them. Now was that an actual snugget? 